Whenever people talk about large-scale institutional change in the United States, like getting rid of the Electoral College or voting reform or anything along those lines, there's always a group of people who appeal to what the founders intended. You see this on almost every issue, especially on really important, big, broad, life-changing issues. Guns, for example, we hear invocations of the Second Amendment and what the Founding Fathers wanted people to have. We hear about what the Founding Fathers thought was the best way to run our government. We hear about what the Founding Fathers thought about whether or not the government should interfere in people's lives. We hear about what the Founders intended, what the Framers wanted, what this and that, and you get the idea. Basically, people in this country worship the Founding Fathers. People worship them as some sort of secular demigods. And the idea of changing the Constitution in any way is pretty much verboten these days because it would go against what the framers intended. Well, here's the thing. I respect the Founding Fathers. They were important Enlightenment thinkers, and the Constitution was an important political and legal document in the history of the world. I think that they have a lot that uh, we should admire. I think that they had some very interesting, compelling ideas, and they came up with a very original and, at the time, novel form of government. But here's the thing. It's 2016, and I don't care what they wanted for my country. They lived and died 200 years before we did. They lived in a world that was completely different from ours. Just as an example, the Second Amendment was written at a time when the most powerful weapon was a breech-loading musket that it took four or five minutes to reload between shots. And so it doesn't really make any sense to invoke the Founders' intentions. If George Washington or Thomas Jefferson were alive today, I highly doubt they would think that you have the right to own a tank. Likewise, when it comes to things like the Senate, well, I'm fully aware that the Founding Fathers wanted the states to have equal representation in the, uh, the, how, the uh, legislative body of the national government. And I think that was wrong. I don't think states are important enough to get equal say in, on the national level. I think the will of the electorate is more important, which is why I support either getting rid of the Senate or reducing its power to a level of the British House of Lords. We've defied the Founding Fathers in the past. Just as an example that a lot of people don't know, senators were not always directly elected. They used to be appointed by state legislatures in a lot of states. The Founding Fathers were dead wrong about that. They were dead wrong about a lot of things. And the funny thing is, they knew it. Thomas Jefferson himself said that the founding, the Constitution should be rewritten and scrapped every 20 years. Benjamin Franklin said that the Founding Fathers should not be worshipped as demigods because they were just men. And that's something that I think people forget. So when we talk about political reform in the United States, I'm interested in what makes sense today. If we have to go against the will of the Founding Fathers to create a better nation, I have absolutely no problem with that. And I'm tired of appeals to authority that rely on this, these all-seeing demigod founders that never existed. Now look, that's not to say that the Founding Fathers' ideas shouldn't be examined and discussed today. A lot of what they thought still makes sense. For example, we all agree that the monarchy generally isn't a good thing, and we all agree with the precedent that George Washington set on serving two terms, or at least enough of us did to pass the 22nd Amendment. A lot of their ideas are interesting and worthwhile, and they still deserve to be discussed, but we should not be slaves to them. The only thing we should consider in terms of how we want to shape our society is what works best for our society today not what worked best for society 220 years ago. So when we look at the Constitution, and when we look at uh, ways to reform our political system, whenever somebody tells me that the Founding Fathers wouldn't have wanted it, I'm just going to reply with three simple words. I don't care. I care about what we want and what works for us in 2016. And that means discarding some of their ideas and keeping others. And that's why the entire amendment system exists. So when you have an argument with a conservative who says that it wasn't what the Founding Fathers wanted, ask them if the Founding Fathers wanted them to vote for their senator. Thanks for listening. Andrew Walker out.